morning, Wednesday, 5th of September. Just uh, on our bikes today, so uh, just leaving Cholp and Atta now. Just left our nice hotel there, Hotel Maxat. Had a great time there, really nice place, clean and uh, near the beach and uh, quite modern, near the restaurant here that we've been going to. So uh, we've got about 35 kilometers, not too far today, and then we'll be in a, a yurt camp today in the countryside again, in a, in a small village. So, okay, let's get on the bikes. It's, uh, have another ride around the lake here. Now we're just cycling past the Hippodrome here at Sports Arena for the Nomad Games. And again, more important people on their way. At the sports arena there, who we yesterday saw wrestling there. And next to the sports arena is the Hippodrome or Harry Potter Stadium. So we saw the cockball, actually playing cockball there all week. That's the main event here, the uh, Nomad Games. So that's what they play all week. And we had two good days here. That was really interesting. I don't know what to expect, but uh, I really enjoyed it. I want to say something new. Now we just notice here we have the first sign of autumn. All the trees are starting to go yellow here. That's the first sign we've had a flash. A new town, more rural kind of place. Yeah. Okay, we just arrived here, Bells and Good Lodge. A very warm welcome. There's a Holland couple working here. Very warm welcome. It looks like a very nice place. <laughs> we have some tea, I think, over here now. We're back in the countryside. It's very nice here. Yeah, it's very nice here. It's like a nice place here. Yeah, it's fruits from the garden. There's so much. place we found here. And because it's run by People from Holland, look what they have here. Cappuccino and smoothies. And there's cakes baking in the oven. Wow, perfect place. I just had tea from the garden as well. It's a fresh herbal green tea. Wonderful. And even have fruit from the garden here, even though we bought our own. <laughs> a nice green. I didn't need to set that again. Yeah, green tea. Yeah, very nice. Okay, let's take a little walk around this place here. This is uh, actually owned and run by a lady from Holland. She bought this five years ago. Even though you're not allowed to buy, uh, foreigners are not allowed to buy houses here anymore. They have uh, quite a large garden here and they have uh, yurts. This is similar to what we stayed in. I'm going to Songkol Lake. So, uh, another yurt camp there. 
We can't stay in the yurt though, they're fully booked because of the nomad king. I'll show you around anyway, so other people are staying in here. Everybody's at the Nomad Games today, where we will be going tomorrow. Yeah, they made a greenhouse out of uh, plastic bottles. We have a few tomatoes and uh, things in here. A few other places you can stay there. Fruit in the garden. And there's apples and pears and apricots I saw. And here they have the shells. The toilets there. Hot water tank on the roof there to heat the water up. Yeah, that's about it really. Pears here. Back. To the kitchen. We've got about 35 guests here today, so we're quite busy. We can have our dinner here, and we're actually sleeping in the neighbour's house. Uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. So this place, Bells and Lodge, is run as a kind of enterprise, and uh, because of the nomad games, that means they don't have space for us to sleep in a yurt. We've got a pocket camp, but uh, they offered. Uh, to let us sleep in the neighbour's house. So uh, we didn't say no to that. Always a good experience and also kind of helps the the neighbours out here. There's a lady from Holland that's bought the, bought the yurt camp but uh, she likes to involve the neighbours so they also get chance to earn a little bit of money and they also started a shop across the road and the local uh, neighbours here they working as taxi drivers for her now shuttling people back and forwards to the uh, yurt camp. Okay. So we're staying here. I'll show you. This is the neighbour's house. I'll show you where we're staying. So, uh, always great these uh, places. Let's take my shoes off. So, we're staying in here. Jeremy's in there, watching the Nomad Games with the, the lady that owns the house. We are sleeping in here this evening. So I'll show you. She's made a bed for us and one for Jamie. Bags are here. So it's probably staying the next two two evenings here. So okay. That's uh, the way it is here. One thing that's uh, great about this trip is that we get the opportunity once in a while just to see how people are living their lives in these uh, remote villages here that uh, look like they haven't been changed by time for a long time. You would never know you're in the year 2018. It's, uh, it's a nice place just to spend an evening here and just to uh, see what's going on around us. Just order some smoothies here. Smoothies here. Yeah, I think it's from fruit from the gardens. There's um, yogurt, uh, plums, apple, uh, kiwi. Maybe there's some one more thing I forgot now. <laughs> I don't think they've got kiwis in the garden though, but plums mm. and apples. Mm. Mm, very good. I'll try that. Let's try that. So I've only actually had one book with me on this trip. But, uh, it's actually a very, very good book I've had with me on the trip. It's called The Silk Roads uh, by F Peter Frankopan. So I've just finished reading this. Now Med has uh, taken over. Let's see if she can read it. It actually explains uh, the history of the Silk Road from the ancient times. But uh, also 
to the modern day, I think about halfway through the book it tells you about uh, a lot about the Middle East and a lot about the um, conflicts and, and the way uh, the Western world has been trying to control the flow of energy resources from the Middle East. Extremely interesting book. I can recommend it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Peter Frankelbrand. Even available in Danish, I saw. Hey, it's had a nice evening here. A really, place full of different people who have travelled the world and been to places. Really interesting. We're coming to these uh, guest houses here where you get a chance to meet other people. So, that was the end of today. We just had a, a great evening there in the guest house talking to, or just an old table. There was a one man from Spain, one man from India, a lady from, uh, a girl from America, uh, yeah, one man from Austria, <laughs> and they're, they're living all over the place, the one man from Austria has been travelling for five years, the uh, girl from America, she's living in Tajikistan, and uh, the man from India lives in uh, Kyrgyzstan, <laughs> so completely mixed up. But that was good, get all different kinds of tips from them on places to go and where they've been and what they think of different countries, really interesting. That's the good thing about coming to these kind of guest houses, you meet these kind of people. But, uh, you don't meet in regular hotels normally. But, uh, so that, good night. Um, tomorrow we have a good day, exciting day. We are going to the Nomad Games here up in the valley. So uh, there's a bus straight from the hotel here, take us at 10 o'clock, straight up the valley and uh, we can see the Nomad Games. And that's more the more uh, cultural part of the Nomad Games are held. So that should be interesting. Should be uh, some yurt camps and different ethnic villages that built up there. So uh, that'll be interesting. So uh, we look forward to that. So we've got one day here tomorrow and uh, visiting the Nomad Games for one last time. Okay. <laughs>